get you into shape, Stuart, if we're going to take on Falcon and return all the jewelry to its rightful owners. Thankfully, your brother George has built this training course for you to train on. Okay, Stuart, the first thing we need to practice is your jumping skill. To jump, press the jump button and try to get over the step in front of you. Wait, Stuart, I knew you could do it. If you press the jump button during the first jump, you will jump again while in midair. Try this to jump over the next step in front of you. <sighs> That's it, Stuart. Why don't you practice jumping to and from the plant pots near us to make sure you've got the hang of it. When you feel you are ready, come over to me near the wall so we continue your training. skill you might find useful, Stuart. You'll be able to climb over this wall behind me if you use your double jump skill. You'll be able to grab the top of the wall and then climb up by pressing up. Give it a try and I'll meet you over the other side. <laughs> to defend yourself against Falcon's minions, Stuart, so you're going to have to learn how to protect yourself. Small objects like this can be picked up and thrown by pressing the throw button, so pick some up and try knocking out some of the targets next to us. If you run out of ammo, come back and pick up some more. Stuart. If you stand on top of the tree trunk, I'll show you how to throw more accurately. If you press and hold camera left and camera right together, you will see through Stuart's eyes. You can use this view to look around and aim more accurately with your throw attack. Try to shoot the flowers underneath the large tree to practice this new skill. Excellent, Stuart. You should have no problems dealing with Falcon's minions with shooting like that. Come and meet me near the fence so I can teach you your second attack. If you press your tail whip button, you will spin around and whip nearby objects with your tail. You can use this to open suitcases, protect yourself against enemies, and activate switches. Try your new skill on the objects beside us. move, Stuart. Now come over here near the gate and I'll show you another use for your tail whip. The gate is locked, Stuart, but don't worry. It can be opened by activating this switch. Use your tail whip move to activate the switch. I'll meet you on the other side. Stuart. In this part of the garden, we're going to improve your climbing skills. First off, I want you to go over to the bamboo sticks over there. If you jump at one of them, you will grab it and be able to climb up and down. So get climbing, Stuart. Great, Stuart. Now you can climb poles. Try to jump from one pole to the other. Keep trying till you can get it.
That's the way to do it, Stuart. Now come over to this spade and try jumping onto it and climbing to the top. Stuart, good things sure do come in small packages. You can climb all sorts of things like the ivy on the wall over there. Have a go and see if you can reach the top. Fantastic, Stuart. Be on the lookout for that handprint as whatever it covers you can climb up. Now come over to the tunnel entrance and I'll teach you how to crawl. crawl on all fours under this obstacle, Stuart. Just walk up to the entrance and you will enter crawl mode. Then crawl to the other side of the tunnel where I will greet you. You can protect yourself in crawl mode by using the throw button. Well done, Stuart. You made it through the tunnel. Hope you didn't get too dirty. Don't worry, as you can wash it off in the pond over there. Just go over and jump in. While you're in the water, use the speed boost button to swim faster, the tail whip button to dive under, and then the jump button to swim around underneath. When you've had enough, swim to the surface and use the jump button to jump out and meet me near the bench. skill, Stuart. You can monkey bar under marked surfaces like the one next to us. Just press the jump button when standing underneath and you will automatically grab a hold. You can press the jump button to jump off at any time. So get on up and monkey bar down to the other end of the bench. Well done, Stuart. You've completed your training, so come on over to the back door and we'll begin the adventure and defeat that evil buzzer. <laughs> Stuart, you can visit Snowbell anytime by collecting this pickup and selecting yes to visit him. Or you can visit Snowbell by select visit Snowbell option in the pause menu. Good news. Collect 60 cat biscuits and take them to Snowbell's cat bowl. Snowbell can then trade the cat biscuits with Monty for a jeweled ring.
Stuart. Do you need help to find the hard to reach items? Stuart. And remember, you're only as big as you feel. Stuart, jump and hold on to these and watch where the wind takes you. You can jump off at any time by pressing the jump button. Excellent hunting, Stuart. You have found a face block. Stuart? 
You can use wires such as the one above me to slide down on. Excellent hunting, Stuart. You have found a face block. Stuart. Do you need help to find the hard to reach items? Hope that helps, Stuart. And remember, you're only as big as you feel. Stuart. Do you need help to find the hard to reach items? Hope that helps, Stuart. And remember, you're only as big as you feel. Stuart, it contains a jeweled ring, but it can only be opened by using the golden key. It's around here somewhere. Can you find it for me? Please help. Thank you. 
news. These suitcases are full of yummy ice cream which replenish your health. So open it up and get scooping. Stuart, jump and hold on to these and watch where the wind takes you. You can jump off at any time by pressing the jump button. Now that's something special. Red suitcases contain extra lives, but they're really tough to open. Use your throw attack. Snowbell, he can send you to the next level. You can visit Snowbell at any time 
by selecting the Visit Snowbell option in the Pause menu. Start button. Would you like to visit?